An elevated level of plutonium has been recorded near the eastern edge of Rocky Flats Natural Wildlife Refuge. That area is part of a future four-lane tollway that would complete the C-470 loop. The soil sample was collected off Indiana Street north of 96th Avenue. Our investigator Rick Salinger has been reporting closely on Rocky Flats for decades. So, Rick, what's the latest? Well, Jim, there have been calls today to suspend public access to the National Wildlife Refuge and to stop the planning and preparation for the Jefferson Parkway. This as analysis is being done on those controversial test results. Where Jeff Staniszewski is walking is a beautiful open space. It may one day become a major highway. But now soil testing has turned up an elevated level of plutonium in one sample. I think the government should take a very hard look at whether or not this is the right thing to do. Is it worth the risk to human life? This is not far from what was the Rocky Flats nuclear weapons facility. Here they use dangerous plutonium to make the triggers for hydrogen bombs. Were you aware that Rocky Flats a nuclear weapons no. facility was there? No. The second test from the sample like this did not find an elevated level of plutonium. Back in 1957, there was a fire at Rocky Flats in a plutonium processing building. That sent plumes of smoke into the air. Another fire occurred on Mother's Day, 1969. Torrential rains in 2013 could have carried plutonium through the soil. Bill Ray heads the Jefferson Parkway Public Highway Authority. He shows where the sample was found, right by where the road would go. They took another piece of the same dirt sample and ran that and came to a much different result. So now it's up to the state health department to analyze those samples and determine if it was just a false positive or something much more dangerous. Exactly how high that plutonium level recorded is, we don't know. So we filed an open records request to try to find out. In the meantime, the state health department says it does not believe there is any immediate public health threat. Live at Rocky Flats, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.